Hello and welcome to ESPN Cricket Info Daily. I am Ronak Kapoor with the top cricket news this Tuesday. Australia crush England to win the first Ashes Test. Dale Steyn announces retirement from Test cricket. Brendan McCullum to quit playing all cricket post the Global T20 Canada. And Navdeep Saini found guilty of breaching the ICC code of conduct. Starting with the Ashes, and Australia recorded a thumping win over England in the first Test at Edgbaston, skittling the hosts for just 146 on day five. England were 13 without loss overnight after Australia set them a daunting target of 398 in the fourth innings. And any hopes of surviving the day to play out for a draw were diminished after Australia picked up four wickets in the first session itself. Nathan Lyon's turn on a day five pitch was too hot for England to handle. The off spinner finishing with figures of 6 for 49, registering his 15th Test Fifer as well as his best figures in Ashes cricket. Lyon also went past 350 Test wickets in the process. Steve Smith was named player of the match for his twin hundreds in the test, marking a dream return for the former Australia captain to the test side. In other news, South Africa seamer Dale Steyn has called time on his glorious test career in a bid to focus on ODIs and T20s and ensure longevity in the sport. The 36-year-old, who made his test debut in December 2004, finishes as South Africa's leading wicket-taker in tests with 439 wickets from 93 matches. A leading bowler in 21st century Test cricket, Stain was ICC's Test Cricketer of the Year in 2008 and made the number one Test bowling ranking his own for a record 263 weeks between 2008 and 2014. After dealing with a number of injuries in recent years, Stain returned to full fitness in December 2018 and became South Africa's leading wicket taker in the format in the Boxing Day Test against Pakistan at Centurion, breaking Sean Pollock's 10 year old record. In more retirement news, Brendan McCullum has announced his intention to quit all forms of cricket following the conclusion of the Global T20 League in Canada. McCullum released a statement on his Instagram and Twitter handles stating that the sacrifices needed and commitment required to play his style of cricket have now become too great. McCullum added that the next chapter in both media and coaching will challenge him further. With over 350 T20 appearances in a career spanning 14 years, Brendan McCollum remains one of the most charismatic batsmen of the T20 era. McCollum is currently second on the list of highest T20 run aggregators of all time, with only Chris Gale ahead of him. And finally, India speedster Navdeep Saini has been sanctioned by the ICC for a code of conduct breach following a send-off towards West Indies batsman Nicholas Puran in the first T20I at Lauder Hill on August the 3rd. The charge was levelled by the four officiating umpires in the game and the sanction proposed by the ICC match referee Jeff Crow was accepted by Seni who receives one demerit point. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave your comments in the comment section below. Click on the bell icon for notifications.